covering Colorado first at five. Stay out. A popular summer recreation spot is shut down for now because of dangerous rising water. And that closure is for the St. Vrain. And with so much mountain snow still to melt, it's going to be a while before the water stops roaring. CBS Force Mackenzie O'Keefe live tonight from Boulder County. Mackenzie, people heeding the warning? For the most part, they are, Jim. You know, this part of the river is usually filled with tubers out here. We know it's one of the favorite summertime activities here in Colorado. But right now, the water is dangerous, but that is something that had some people surprised today. Oh, we got hamburgers, bratwurst, hot dogs. It's a big family barbecue for the Johnsons, but that wasn't the original plan. We planned a tubing. For two weeks, they've been getting ready for the perfect day on the water, but things changed quickly when they saw these signs. We have two sets of twin grandsons, and so they were disappointed that they're not going to get to go tubing. And it is what it is. The Boulder County Sheriff's Office has put a tubing and single chamber raft ban in place along the St. Vrain Creeks and River. They say it's running dangerously high and fast. Water is actually very deceiving to most, most people. Think, oh, that looks like I can go in it. But once you start to wade in, there's undercurrents and eddies and all different types of things that can take you down. The Boulder Emergency Squad has already made a few rescues this season and say with melting snowpack, the water will only continue to rise. This water could be a lot of fun to be in, and at the same time, uh, for those who are not experienced enough in it or don't know what to look for, it could be uh, quite dangerous. Those dangers lie underneath the water surface. Unexpected rocks they can't see. The white water is typically hiding something. But of course, on a sunny day like this, we found tubers like Bridget McGarry getting ready to jump on in. Tubing's closed. What do you think? Oh, really? Oh, that's disappointing. A disappointment, but one that both she and the Johnsons know is meant to keep them safe. I'm disappointed, definitely, but what can you do? It is running kind of fast. Now, kayaks and canoes are allowed on this river. It's just those tubes and those uh, single chamber flotation devices. If you are caught in either of those on this river, you could face a $100 fine. We're live here in Boulder County. Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado first. Thank you, Mackenzie.